In truth, this was a blow not against one city or one country, but against all of us. These attacks are deliberate acts of terrorism. I condemn them utterly. On Friday night, the Security Council adopted unanimously a broad resolution aimed at targeting terrorists and those who harbor, aid, or support them. That resolution requires member states to cooperate in a wide range of areas, from suppressing the financing of terrorism to providing early warning, cooperating in criminal investigations, and exchanging information on possible terrorist acts. Resolution 1373 goes to the heart of how terrorism operates. In adopting Resolution 1373 in the year 2001, the Security Council established the Counterterrorism Committee to monitor, promote, and facilitate states' implementations of its provisions. Today marks the 21st anniversary of the adoption of Security Council Resolution 1373 of 2001 and the establishment of the Counterterrorism Committee. I take this opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to the mandate given to the committee by the United Nations Security Council Resolution Number 1373. The Counterterrorism Committee Executive Directorate, or CTED, was established by the Council in its Resolution 1535 in the year 2004 as a special political mission to assist the committee in its work. One of the things that sticks out in my mind over the years in CTED was a meeting we arranged in 2016 here in New York. Um, we were able to convene Supreme Court justices from all over the world. And we didn't realize it until the meeting was just about to happen, but it was literally the first time that Supreme Court justices had been convened globally to talk about the adjudication of terrorism cases in all its complexity. Since its creation, the Counterterrorism Committee has made decisions that have laid the foundation and forged a trajectory for its future work. The Counterterrorism Committee turns 21 at a time when new and emerging challenges appear on the horizon. Over the past 21 years, notable successes have been achieved and significant steps taken in the implementation of Resolution 1373 by Member States. These include a significant increase in the number of states becoming party to the international counterterrorism instruments, the criminalization of terrorist offenses, and the strengthening of criminal justice systems. In my experience as an advocate of rights human rights in America Latin, in particular Argentina, and as an advocate in the criminal area and rights of penal, I think that the issue of terrorism and the definition of concrete is of importance. I think that it is useful the work that the committee has done in order to ensure that the criminalization of this type of offenses or this type of crimes is according to the application of the principle of legality. Y me parece que en este contexto eh, CITED y el comité en particular han trabajado de manera eh, bastante estrecha con organizaciones de la sociedad civil y también eso es algo importante a resaltar en el contexto no solo de la criminalización sino como la sociedad civil puede apoyar eh, propuestas para llevar adelante eh, cuestiones en materia de rehabilitación en el contexto de prisiones y últimamente reintegración. On the occasion of its 21st anniversary, the Counterterrorism Committee remains poised and ready to continue the work with member states and partners to implement Security Council resolutions and strive for more achievements in the decades to come. Throughout the last 20 years, even before, counterism was always addressed by the security sector. No one not no one, not so many had counterism strategies. Mostly countries had security strategies. And when the counterism, uh, uh, when counterism resources came um, into adoption and the need to implement them, then the measures were integrated in these strategies and, and the security strategies. The difference today I see with these strategies that they are more comprehensive and more integrated. They have many governmental agencies on board that I know 20 years ago they would have never ever th uh, thought that they are actually working on counterism. 
This counterterrorism at that time seems to be more exclusive for prosecutors, law enforcement, intelligence services. But today you have also ministries of education and other agencies, they all play a vital role. On this strong foundation and these successes, the Counterterrorism Committee enters its third decade with a view to fostering further progress. Looking ahead at what might be on the next horizon, the Counterterrorism Committee will hold a special meeting on countering the use of new and emerging technologies for terrorist purposes. The growing tendency of terrorists misusing new and emerging technologies to advance their goals has created concern for member states, policymakers, and researchers. The Security Council has given focus to address these concerns in a number of counter-terrorism related resolutions. Mindful of addressing this issue, the Counter-Terrorism Committee will hold a special meeting in Mumbai and New Delhi on 28 and 29 October this year. You can find more information on the website of the Counter-Terrorism Committee.